Marshall Hall, located about 20 miles south of Washington, D.C. on the Potomac River, more or less directly across from uh, Mount Vernon. Uh, this place was bought by a fellow named Thomas Marshall back in 1718, I believe. And they built a big manor house here. Erected around 1750 or so, this house was called a mistake by its owners because it was put up, I don't know, in the, in the wrong spot or something because of the surveyor error. And uh, the house stood here until about 1970 or so, 1980. Pretty much, pretty much the house looked brand new up until that day when, uh, when a fire happened. Uh, vandals probably got in and, and burned it up and destroyed it. And uh, a couple years later, somebody with a Mack truck decided that they were going to try to kill themselves by driving through it, you know, solid foot and a half brick walls and they planted a Mack truck right into that wall which was since rebuilt by the Park Service but they left they left the rest of the house burnt Hulk um, really a shame what happened to this place after the Park Service took over Marshall Hall was owned and operated by the Marshall family all the way up until about the time of the Civil War when they sold the place off soon after it became parkland, which was visited by people from Washington, D.C., who came down on ferries to visit Mount Vernon, and then afterwards come across to visit Marshall Hall because gambling and horse racing and other such attractions were available here. Soon the place became very popular with people coming down for picnics, and whatnot during the, the hot summer months. This, this was a very well shaded and cool area on the river to visit. Soon it became a full-fledged amusement park. Serviced by a full-fledged ferry. This was the uh, Wilson Line which uh, came down from DC and and all up and down the Potomac River, going to various places. By the 1950s, you have a, you got a full-fledged amusement park here. Almost a mini, mini Disney World. I remember coming here as a child, and everything was in pretty good order, and you could, you could get on all the rides and. Really, it was actually a pretty nice place. There's a before and after picture. We used to sit here on the highway and uh, watch the fireworks on the 4th of July. But soon things went bad for the park. 1970s, financial trouble in the 1970s, soon spelled doom for the park. An investor bought the place out. He didn't do too well during the 70s. Nobody really did too well during the 70s. By the end of the 70s, the place was starting to look a little bit dilapidated. You could get in here for $3, which was actually quite a lot of money back in those days. That would buy you $10 worth of gas also during that period. Not $10 worth, 10 gallons. But the end of the 70s bought the end of the park. Soon the uh, National Park Service took the place over from the owners and uh, tore everything down. Except for the coaster, which was blown over in a heavy windstorm the same year that they took the place over. Actually, it might be kind of fortunate. 
this was in really bad shape at this time. The house was all in one piece and in pretty good condition all the way up until about 1980. But the park service failed to keep the vandals out and someone burnt the town. This is a cemetery where uh, Thomas Marshall and his family are all laid to rest. Uh, let's go in here and check it out. If we can get in. I don't know if we can get in. Oh yeah, you can get in. Okay. Eleanor Marshall. Departed this world in 1829. Another Eleanor Marshall. They were fine of naming their, their folks after one another. And that one's a little hard to read. And this one is definitely hard to read. Wow, look at that. Just eroded away to nothing. Look, it looks like. Wow, can't read that at all. Wow. Sarah Dent, 1795. Thomas Hansen Marshall. Here's another one that's heavily worn. This is probably here, Thomas Marshall. So this was probably the original owner right here. Thomas Marshall, son of Thomas. Revolutionary War soldier and patriot, captain from Maryland, 1731 to 1801. Very cool. Glad that somebody did these. Well, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed your little tour of what was what was left of Marshall Hall, and. Uh, June challenge met. See you guys on Tuesday.